What up, guys? Welcome to our crib. <laughs> We wanted to make a new video, something different, give you guys a part of us and let you guys inside of us give out more so you can see where we're coming from. So this is our crib. We currently stay right now. We are we are on public housing. So this is our public housing apartment. I thought this would be different because a lot of people, they take, give you all the information of this is they tell you about that. They don't really show it. Like, hey, I was on housing. They don't show that. They just tell you about it in interviews. I want to actually show you guys. I felt like this would be something different. Show you guys and you can see where we come from because pretty soon we do not plan on being on public housing for much longer. We work on public housing going on two years. She said two years. That's my wife behind the camera recording for you guys. But we've been on public housing for two years and we've been in this apartment for two years. So I'm going to give you our little apartment tour. So starting out, this is the little hallway walk area as soon as you come in. This is our crates that we put up all of our um, stuff in that we go selling that all of our coupon stuff that i take to go selling i just stack these crates up inside the car and then put them out on the table so as soon as you walk in you see that we don't have many visitors so even if we did we don't really care that's why i write that she do but i don't that's why i write that but we don't have no other place to put it at so starting in come on come on come on come on that's dominique and davion room to the left but we're gonna start off from the bathroom. This is the bathroom that all of them use. The microphone thing going up. The um, two green things. All right, I just wanted to make sure. But um, this is the bathroom that all of them use. She said she don't like to use our bathroom in there because I keep it a little too messy for her. So she come in here with the kids and um, use this bathroom. But. Go back. Y'all can put on clothes so y'all can get on the video too. They ain't having no clothes, but um, starting out, this pretty much it. Just a regular, regular bathroom, huh? Oh yeah, that's another thing. I'll tell y'all when we get out there. I'll tell y'all when we get out there. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Anything you want to show them, just a regular bathroom. Just a regular bathroom. But I tell y'all I won't get out here cause that uh, fan. All of our bathrooms, when you cut the light on, that fan automatically come on. But as you seen in the bathroom, there are rails in the bathroom. They gave us a handicap apartment. I don't, well, it was pretty much whatever's available. And when they call you, you we on the waiting list. Whatever's available and they call you and say, hey, we have an apartment ready. If you don't take that apartment, Somebody gonna get the apartment and you gonna be out of luck because am I right? You can't if you don't accept the apartment, you can't get no apartment at all. So we had to accept this, and that's why all the countertops and all this stuff is lower too, because we just had to get this apartment. Like my cousin and them, they stay over here as well, and they countertop like way up here. These I always have problems. Like I just washed the dishes just now before we start this video. I don't care. <laughs> she put it that this. This Tierra's. <laughs> That's Tierra's. But uh, when we um, uh, what what I watch this is because I'm taller than my wife. These because they handicapped, they have to be handicapped accessible, so they have to be lower. Every time I wash the dishes, you see how hot I am. I have to bend down just to clean the dishes, and my back be killing me. I got in a car accident already, and my back already be hurting from that. So. We just have to deal with these handicap accessible, this apartment, because if we wouldn't have got this, we would have been out of luck. So, working, we want to go in Dominique them room. Why his clothes? Wait, we'll hold off on that. Davion. Put on some shorts, Davion. He got on socks. <laughs> you don't need socks. Just put on clothes. So, we'll work our way. This is the kitchen. You can get, you can see the whole kitchen. This is our kitchen over here. It don't have an island. All the other apartments in here 
has an island. This doesn't have an island because it's handicap accessible. T talk. Yeah, what? The short stop addressing. All right. So we don't. They drop that change thing. But um, we don't have an island because it's handicap accessible. So this is it. And this is our dining room table. We put it in the kitchen, make it like that we have an island. And this is my workstation. This is what I use to edit the videos. I play Fortnite, all that on here. Oh, and that's my um, mouse, mouse pad. But over here we have like a computer desk. We don't have a computer chair, so I don't use this in. I don't like to have my back turned from the front door, all that. So I like to be right there. So that's why I don't use that. I just, we just use this pretty much as storage. This, I just put a whole bunch of like just <laughs> stuff that I don't use often. I just throw it in there. Like I have watches. It's supposed to be like for the stuff like Foul. for the computers. Well, I don't use it for files. I use this for my files. So all my tax stuff, all the stuff that I use for YouTube that we pay for, it all going up. But we have a printer over here as well. All right, so we got the um, desk area. Once you come right here, this thing always coming out. I don't know why. See, it always come out. It's like it's not tall enough. This is our little storage area right here. Keep our selling tables right there, what we use to sell. And just chairs, my fishing poles. I do, for y'all who don't know, I do like to fish. I just haven't been fishing in a while. I do like to fish. And then, just the random stuff. That's a um, cricket. My mama bought this. Well, this my mama's. She gave it to Tierra. She said she'll get it to start using it because my mama never used it. And it's been in here ever since we if got you it from my her. Laptop, we haven't used it at then all. Then you see me pull up something Peppa Pig. Nope. If you look on my laptop, you'll see, and I made a mom shirt. I just got to get the stuff to, um, the HTV stuff. Yeah, she be tough. She always gets stuff. She never want to throw stuff away. And she no. want to keep it. No, you. She, she always want to keep it and say, oh, we'll use this. Like, we have a, this right here this we did a this wet head challenge a wet head game on youtube we didn't have no more use for it i was the thinking, kids always ask to play it but i always say no this been sitting up here forever for about two times, years Dominique asked a lot of times to play that but i just said no but um this the cereal we got um it was a deal couponing so we got a whole bunch of these cereal. We got most cereal at her mama house. We just bring it over here as we um, eat them. And this from that infamous prank. <laughs> Tell me, have y'all seen this video? If you haven't, go back and watch this prank. It's funny. And my auntie got injured. I don't like that part, but um, go watch the um, videos. I did like two or three of them. But coming on, we'll go back to Dominique room. So in here, his room junkie, they always messing stuff up. My wife, she just came in here and cleaned up. Hey y'all. They can see. What's wrong with you? But this is they room. This is both of they room. <laughs> she tell me to come on. This they keep they room junkie. She just cleaned up. Not too long ago, and they got it all back dirty again, too. But, um, guess we'll swing it over here. But, um, this is our living room right here. Once you leave out of that hallway, come out, Dominique room, the bathroom, and then kitchen, living room. We just did this deal, and we haven't got had time to put it all up. We have a storage at her mother's house, my mother-in-law house that we stack everything up. We got shelves and all that, but we just haven't had the time to put all this stuff up. But this is our living room right here. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we doing all that. She don't want me to go in certain areas, but I told her we doing the whole house tour. She don't want, I, here T ever go right here. She, she don't want to be on camera because she said her have not done. But, it's um, done, but it's in the bonnet. This is our 
living area, the TV. You can see the TV? Mm-hmm. TV. And this is pretty much it. It ain't much, but it'll do. We love it. And this couch, we need a new couch because our couch. But we, I mean, how long we had this couch? We had this couch since 2012. For, six since years. 2012. This couch. For the majority of the time, it was sitting in storage because we were living with her mother for a while. And then we finally moved over here for the past two years. But since we've been here, it was okay. And then it just started going down. It's holes in the couch. Y'all want to see it? Come on. <laughs> holes in the couch. Holes down there. And then when you sit down, you can feel all the springs. Tierra embarrassed to show y'all this stuff. I'm not. I just want to show y'all where we come from. So when we do get that million dollar house, y'all say, they came this far from public housing. They came this far from a couch with holes in it. Now they ain't got no holes in the couch. I'm going to show y'all everything. Yeah, we got holes in the couch. But all this, we had for a while. I wish she didn't have. Take it off so they can see no. you. But, um, oh, this is more coupon and stuff that we have, we got right there. I think all this come from either CVS or Walgreens when they have, they, um, 90% off sale for the, um, what you doing? I'm only being in vlog too. <laughs> what? I'm only being in vlog too. You want to be in a vlog? Come on. But, um. This is what we got from CVS. I think like in the summertime, no. you were way over there. No, I, I, I think like in the summertime, they be having all their toys and stuff on 90% off clearance. So we just rack up then and then we'll just resell it Tell all. Tell them what that is, babe. It's the mug controller and a headphone. Whose stuff that is? Daddy's. Yeah, see, the PlayStation 4 over there. I played I play PlayStation 4 and that's the PlayStation 3. I'm waiting like two more days, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and then I may not post no more for about three months. I'm just playing. I'll go post. <laughs> She's the crazy. I'm going to post. I'm going to continue this everyday posting. But uh, whose stuff is this? The chair, those your mom. Well, she did. <laughs> We've been holding this stuff. All of them went to, um, what, Walgreens? No, I went by myself that morning. You was wondering why I was. Yeah, I would sleep. I wake up, she gone. I don't get no texts, no just that nothing. I, when I took down me to school, I just never I ain't that. get no texts, no nothing. I wake up, I ain't even text her. I was like, I'm just waiting to see when she gonna text me. I She come back in here with bats on bats of stuff that she got from C um CVS Walgreens Walgreens clearance and this was part of it my mama told her to grab that and then she'll give her the money back but yeah this is all clearance stuff that we just got it was no coupons needed for that stuff and this right there we just need to go and get rid of that because they can't see Yeah, but that's just thread. My parents, they had a um embroidery business and my dad, he they stopped doing it for whatever reason they stopped. I don't know why they stopped doing it cuz I keep telling them they needed to start it back and just keep going. But they stopped doing it and they just sold all the stuff. Y'all seen that vlog before we helped them move all that stuff. That was all that stuff. They told us to um that we can get that whatever we want inside of the Tierra wanted to keep all this stuff I told her we didn't need all this stuff you should did your hat so you could turn the camera around but I told her we didn't need all that stuff we just had that stuff sitting all this time and untouched but that's a crates on crates of embroidery um thread all right there. I was gonna make Dominica because today was sports day you know those um, you see she always say I was the Cricket, I was. No, no, I'm doing the cricket thing. I was. They don't. I we don't have the. You know the when they print out in the cricket, you got to put paper in the cricket so they cut it out. Then we iron it. We don't have it. Okay, but um, no, on to the next. No. Not so loud. Not so loud. On to the next. This is our vision board. We have it right above the couch in the living room, so we can see that every single day. So on to the next one. You think that's? They got everything in here. Mm -hmm. Can you go? You was back there seeing this? Mm -hmm. 
and you guys yes. can see my school stuff that I didn't put away yet. Yeah, I guess All right, I so we're gonna move on to our room. It's pretty nice in there. It's pretty nice in there. Whoa! We don't have a light in here. She didn't light. You didn't light my light. That tall light. I think that was back in the older part. Oh. But um, we don't have a light in here because it didn't come with and a light. And there's a light we, in the bathroom. Yeah. We didn't never get a light. You can see me good? Mm -hmm. We never got a light because it didn't come with one. So hopefully you can see it's pretty dark outside. Well, it's getting dark outside. So it's not much light in here. But this is our bedroom. This is our bed. <laughs> and over here we have... This was Dominique Christmas gift right here. Like, how about many three, years, years ago? About three, four years ago, he outgrew it, so we kept it for Davion, but we never ride it, because we don't really go outside over here. And I think we took it to my cousin's house one year for Dominique, and he rode it. But we got it for Davion. I'm thinking about giving, away, giving it away. But this is all... Why are you going give it away? Because you don't ride it. They be riding okay. in the house. Yeah, they they'll get on there and help. But these are my clothes. These most of these are brand new clothes that I never wore that I really don't have no room to put in the drawers and stuff. Cover too. And some of it I just wear it and then I probably sit it you over here and then I put it back on. And, and sometimes Daddy. I don't wash my clothes. Daddy. I just put it back on. <laughs> I don't. It's the truth. She's looking at me like. Daddy. They need to know us, the real us. So I'm trying to I give them the real thingy. us. I forgot the cover thing. But yeah, this is our bed. So if you keep on, oh, our dresser, you ain't get the dresser I'm TV. Go around. Okay. That's our dress. Dresser TV, this my little jewelry box thing I where I keep you. my watches and stuff. Watches, sunglasses. Watches and these, I have Invicta watches. These right here, you can see it good because it's darker. Okay, yeah, but I the reason I got these because I think these look like Rolexes, so I was like, I can't afford a Rolex right now, so this is the next best it's thing. Coming. It's coming, I can't afford it right now, but I will be able to afford it in the near future. So I thought this was the next best thing. And so I got quite a few of these. Oh, need some light. It can't see. Well, I can see, but you dark. But come on. Oh, but these the watches. I wouldn't have got the light. Probably can. You can see them. Yeah. So then the watches. I got more watches. Watches. I got quite a few watches. More other watches than now. But um, uh, yeah. This pretty much our stuff. The dresser. Oh, this cologne. This right here is my all-time favorite cologne. This is um, how do you pronounce that? YSL. Well, YSL. I was trying to say the whole name. I don't know how to pronounce that. Eve Saint Laurent. Yeah, Eve Saint Laurent. YSL. If that's how you pronounce it. The but, perfume uh, one. Perfume Intense. This one right here, I think, smells the best out of all the YSL men cologne right here. That smells good. That's what I got my wife on right though. <laughs> what you ain't even know nothing about that in high school. Hey, no, I just you found that about like that. <laughs> no, I did. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The TV, and then our dirty clothes basket right there. I went to yeah, I told you, dirty clothes basket, and then this more coupon stuff down here, and the boxes right there, and another comforter. Which side? Which side? Oh. Yeah, this side right here, my wife sleep on. This side right there in the middle, Davy I sleep. And that side is mine. I sleep on the far side by the window. If he was so, in here, he was gonna make sure yeah, he said his side. Davion sleeping here. He gonna stop when we the next place we move in, he not sleeping with us no more. But yeah, um, well, you hear you hear here that's daddy's baby, so he gonna yeah. be there. Next place he ain't sleeping with. He let him sleep in the bed at night and stuff. No, you do. She do. I tell him to go in there, and he'll come in, wake up in the middle of the night from out of there with Dominique, walk in here, 
And I, it was one night, I wasn't feeling good. I was like looking at the window side and I just hit her behind me. I heard Davion, mommy, can I come sleep in here? She, come on. She tried to whisper so I couldn't hear her, but I heard her. But um, in here, this is our closet. As soon as you leave the um, room right here, these doors, every time I fix these doors, they'll come down. I don't know why, but inside of here, this is my wife's side of the closet and all her shoes, well, not all of them. She still got shoes at her mama's house. But yeah, this pretty much all her clothes. She got brand new clothes that she never now wore you, you sit here telling the inside story. of this closet. Dominique. And I always want to keep spending money, keep Dominique. spending money on brand new stuff. That's why he don't want to yeah. stop talking because he know he's telling the story. Yeah. But she got her purses, I probably got like shoes. three new things in there. And no, she two. got Jordans that probably from high school that she never wore, probably wore one time, look brand new. Let me show y'all. I, I hope they're not in there. Yeah, perfect example. Brand new Jordans look like they never been worn. Look at that. They ain't still enough. I wore them, I wore them Jordans a lot of times. Do this look like a lot of times? No. She ain't wear these a lot of times. These brand new. I ain't gonna put them back in now. <laughs> she like her shoes to be in the boxes. That's why they stay fresh. But Dominique almost took my shoes. She size. got um brand new purses and all that that she never wear either. Dominique, only brand new I only shoes, did wear one purse. Stuff. Now show everything that let's let's get close. I'm going to show him. All this stuff he hasn't worn. Move. I'm going to show a, them. Back it up. Back it up. They can't see. Yes, they can. All these shirts he hasn't worn. Now, I'm going to tell y'all why. Let me explain. When we bought this stuff, I could fit it. Well, most of it, I could fit it. I wear some of it, and then I started gaining weight, gaining weight, gaining weight. Couldn't fit it no more. That's why all this sitting in the closet. Like all these shorts, I mean pants right here, pretty much all this right here is brand new. I'm, I wore the majority of this. I wore all this before. But not none of those shirts. Yeah, brand new. And all, all this, this stuff right now. All of this brand new. But all this, I wore this before. They can see? Yeah, when we went to church. Yeah. And then all of this right here, all of this is brand new. It's brand new shirts. So who got the most new stuff? No, nah, you got Not, stuff at your mama house. No, but, I um, don't. Th all this is brand new. All of it brand new. Brand so that means I need to go shopping to catch up with you. All of this, like a size extra large. It's probably, yeah, m all of this is a size extra large. So I need to lose this gut so I can get you into trying to all of this. Me? What? I said I need to go shopping to catch up with you. No. Nah. Oh, and my shoes. I used to wear shoes before Teslas. They can't see me. No, I'm looking at the shoes. I used to wear shoes before Teslas. These my Tesla shoes. I be wearing these. Guess how much these was? $19.99 on Amazon. I think they went up to like $26 now. Nah. They some too much for you now? Yeah. I I just $19.99 good. Not $26. That's $30 for shoes. But these some pretty good shoes. They feel pretty decent. Pretty good material. The only thing, the top part right there. It's like a mesh part. So if you step in a puddle of water, your sock getting wet. But um, other than that, they pretty good shoes. But I try to get stuff like this so we can save money and then spend money on stuff that's going to make us more money. Like Tierra, she's in real estate. More stuff like that. Or say YouTube. Say like I need a new camera or something. Save money here so you can spend more money there. But yeah, I used to wear shoes. I ain't wore these in a long time. I don't even think I can fit these no more. But I used to wear shoes and I used to dress a lot, but now I just throw on a t-shirt. Um <laughs> she she don't like she said she don't like the way I dress, but now I just wear a t-shirt, swimming trunks, cut out that middle in the seam that make it feel like a diaper, and you got some shorts. <laughs> but yeah, I used to wear Jordans, all that stuff. But come in here, oh, right here. Is this is what, what what money stopped on? It stopped on the first one. <laughs> this was his um workout thing. Yeah, I was supposed to um work out and lose all this weight. 
but that never, I never stuck with it. So I'm gonna start this again. Sorry. I'm gonna start this again pretty soon. But coming here, this is my bathroom right here. This is what I use. Oh, we ain't even show them Dominique thing right here. Oh, I'm gonna show y'all this. Come on, right here. This, my wife, she made this for me right there. Oh, they can see you in the mirror? No. Oh, <laughs> nah. come over. No. <laughs> but my wife, she made this. So I say this every single day. Yeah, I know it's sticky. But um, I say this every single day. And one day she made me so mad. She made me mad. So right there, it say, right there, it say, I love God, myself. It's supposed to say my wife, my kids, and my family. I tried to make her mad because she made me mad. I know it's being petty. So I cut out my wife and my family and just left my kids right there. So she was mad too. <laughs> she was mad. So it was a success, but don't do that. But um, she was being petty and I was being petty. So I cut that out. But I say this every single day. So do but, you include my wife when you say Yeah, because that made me remember that it's supposed to say my wife because that cut. But every time I say this, I say my wife. But I say that every single day and this. If you haven't read the Think and Grow Rich book, you should read that. That's a very good book. It's very helpful as well. They tell you to write out exactly how much money you want to make by the date. Tell you what you're going to give up to obtain that amount of money. And you write it down. Say it every single day, twice a day. But when you wake up and right before you go to sleep. So I've been saying this. Me and my wife been saying this for how long you say? About two or three weeks. About two or three weeks. So we've been saying this and... Mine say, well, I don't need it. You think I should? I ain't got it. But this is mine. She say hers. So we say this every single day. I keep it in the bathroom because as soon as I wake up in the morning, I um, read it. And then I keep it in here as well because right before I go to sleep, I take a shower. So I read it again. So that's my, um, two times a day. What you don't take a shower? I still read it because I come in here and use the bathroom. But this is pretty much it bathroom oh we never told them about this oh and we we hang up some well when we wash our clothes some of the clothes we hang up i know some of y'all do it but we hang up some of our clothes to dry out because the dryer is shrinking clothes and we don't want them to shrink some of our clothes so we'll hang it up that's why this up there right white clothes yeah, she just dry white clothes, all our jeans and stuff. She hang out. And um, I don't know what we're going to do when we move into our Cordova house because we don't want clothes just stored. We're going to put the clothes lying on the back. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what we're going to do then. Maybe we'll just keep taking our clothes to the cleaners or something. But right here, for the longest, I want to say we've been living in this apartment. We've been living in this apartment. We've been living in this apartment. Hey, I saw you too. We've been living in this apartment for two years, so maybe a year and a half ago, it was some people right above us. They used to always leave their um, washer running or something. No, when they running. Oh, when they run their washer, it's a leak. So it'll leak downhill. So we'll call the people, we'll tell them, and they'll go up there and fix it. And then that's the end of it. They'll put a bucket up on the head and let the water drip until it's finished. And then that's the end of it. So I'm sitting here just thinking one day like that water just be sitting inside of this ceiling with um all of this leakage in there. And it's, it's not drying because there's no holes in here for it to dry. So it's just sitting. I'm like, I told my daddy, he was like, that stuff is molding up there. We called them down there. We keep telling them, like, this stuff got to be molding because when you leave from out of the living room and come to our room, it just feels like this humid moisture in the air. So we telling them, like, it got to be molded up there. So by the good, you want to say, like, six months to... Thank you. Six months to a year, we've been living in this apartment with mold in it. I'm telling them, like, even... I was starting to get sick because I have asthma and I be getting like colds all the time. Very often. I always got to blow my nose and all that because me and Davion got asthma. Me and Davion and my wife was sleeping in this room. 
So we feeling it. I'm like, I right, it gotta be mold up though. We keep telling them. So they never did nothing. All they doing is say, it's no mold, no mold. We call, we finally call housing on them. So we got housing involved and the housing called them and then they finally came down here and they cut a piece open. Even when he cut a piece open, he was, no, first they called housing and they brought a humidifier. How, housing made them do something and they finally came down and brought a humidifier. So they brought the humidifier to suck up all the moisture out the room because we telling them it's a moisture in here. We even brought the people down here and they say the same thing. It's like totally different from the living room to in here. So they finally brought the humidifier and then they brought the humidifier and then that was it. That we haven't heard anything. So we keep calling, calling, calling. It's mold up here. All you did was suck the moisture out of the mold. We got the mold kit too. Yeah, we got the mold kit. And I wanna did I still have the pictures. If I still have the pictures, I'm gonna place them up on the screen. I'm gonna show you guys the mold kit. Once we took the mold kit down there and showed them, that's when they brought the humidifier. And then after they brought the humidifier, we haven't heard anything from them. So we kept calling, kept calling. They finally came down here and cut a hole in the ceiling. He cut a hole over here. You can come. Yeah. He cut a hole right there. But mind you, the mold part was like right here. So he tried to cut way over there and say, because they didn't want to work this stuff. I don't know. They just don't like coming to our apartment. So he cut one way over there and showed. See, I told you it was no more, it's no more. So as soon as he left, because he was with the manager, he left. So I'm like, it's mold up here. So I got my behind up there on the ladder that they brought here, and I cut another piece. I'll show you the picture if I still have it. Oh, oh she still have it. I'll show you the picture. So I cut another piece, and then I hurry and have my wife go and show both of them like she is mold i told you it's mold and the manager she act like she was just furious that like she was trying to get the stuff done but it was like they didn't care about us they had us living in mold for like six months to a year i don't know what the exact time frame but it was a very long time we kept telling them kept telling them and they finally got it resolved after probably going on a year they finally got it resolved what the yellow thing me hot yeah, probably. So, we've been living in here for going on a year with mold. So, they finally got a resolve and they finally fixed it. So, they fixed it and then when they did it, they left all this stuff. You see paint, all this stuff. I said I wasn't going to clean it, but I just been getting it up piece by piece. But I told them about it. He always say, I'm going to come back and get it all up, get it all up. This paint. Because when we move out of here, they probably going to try to say you can't get your deposit back because of this. But I took a picture, sent it to the manager, and showed her they still haven't came. Now it's been about two or three months. Like four or five months. But four or five months since they put this, still haven't heard from them. Just like in here. We don't have a kitchen light. You see this? The kitchen light out. They supposed they was been supposed Two to come. Two months ago. You just showed me there. They um was been supposed to come and put this um kitchen light back in, but they they it's like since we had that problem with the mold, anytime we call them, they never come. So I'm like, I ain't even gonna worry about it. We gonna be out of here pretty soon, so we ain't gotta deal with them no more. But that's pretty much it. This is our house. This is where we live. And like I said, I wanted to show you guys where we started at. This is, we've been here for two years. This is where we started at. And we have much more to come. We have much more to accomplish. This is not where we're going to end at. This is just our start. We Y'all going to see us in a million dollar house on a mid in a nice neighborhood so that's why i don't really care about showing y'all this because most people they won't show y'all this because i guess they feel like they're embarrassed because Someone who would want to stay daddy. huh yeah. oh this tutu huh Go. 
So they feel like they too embarrassed to show you this. And then when they do make it big, they want to say, oh, this is where we started from. No, I'm going to show y'all exactly where we started from. This is where we live in. And well, I need to tell them about the roaches. We had to get that stuff. This all come with it. Oh, and when we first moved in here, we keep our apartment pretty clean, cleaner than a lot of other apartments. But the apartment right above us, they had roaches right before they moved out. And sometimes you'll see roaches in here. So we'll have to go buy this stuff. If you got roaches, get this stuff. This stuff helps a lot. This right here, it's some ant killer, but it works really well for roaches. So if you got roaches, go to Home Depot and buy this. I think it's like eight or nine dollars and buy this. What we do is what we started doing is sprinkling it all around the apartment on the outside. And then once they moved out, it was nothing for them to, I guess, eat and all that. So they try to come down here. So once they moved out, we started sprinkling it around in the cracks and corners inside the apartment. And I'm warning you, wear gloves when you got this. I shouldn't even hold this. But, um, it stinks. Yeah, it's very stink. But it's worth it to not have roaches if you do have roaches. But that helps a lot. So we sprinkle that around inside the house. Away from your kids. Away from the kids. Do not put it in no place where it can harm kids or where the kids we can reach it. Dogs, cats. Dogs, cats, anybody. Can, that can harm you. So keep that out the way. Just put it in little cracks and corners where nobody can reach it. And that's what we do. And that's what keep the roaches away. So if you enjoyed this video, we should, should we talk about, we're not going to end the video. Yeah, but I'm going to leave that video. I'm going to make a separate video for all that. But if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed our house tour, apartment tour, smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And always remember, you are a king. You are a queen. You are a prince and you are a